Welcome back. In these next few videos, we're building a project using Phoenix Framework. It is a full stack web framework that is often compared to Ruby on Rails, but of course it's for Elixir. Out of the box, Phoenix provides a lot of stuff for us. My favorite feature is the hot code reloading, so we won't have to restart the server each time we make a change. In this series, we're going to be building a job board, which has a few basic features. First, we're going to install the hex package manager. You may already have this installed, and you'll only have to do it one time. Next, we're going to install Phoenix using this command. These commands can all be found using the Phoenix documentation on the install page. Once those commands have run, we can create the Phoenix project by using mix phoenix.new and job underscore board is going to be our project name. We can install the dependencies. We're going to run these commands next, but first let's take a look at our database configuration. We can find the configuration in config slash dev.exs. Inside this file, we'll find the credentials for the database. I won't go over how to set up Postgres in this video, but what you need to have is Postgres installed and an account set up that can create databases. Once you've got that, we can use mix ecto.create. This is going to create the database that we need for our project. We can now run the mix phoenix.server command. This is going to start up the server, and if we go to localhost 4000, we can see the demo page here. Let's go ahead and stop this. Next, we're going to cd into the assets folder and create a package.json using this command. Having the package.json allows us to use npm install daisy UI, and daisy UI is a component library that we'll use, and it's built on top of Tailwind CSS, and Tailwind CSS is built into Phoenix, so this is a perfect fit. Here are some of the components provided by daisy UI. You can see they've got a badge, breadcrumbs, a card, and all of these components can be used by simply using a class attribute, like in this code snippet here. To connect daisy UI to our Phoenix project, we need to go to tailwind.config.js. Inside of plugins, we can add require daisy UI. This is all we need. To check that this worked, we can use the phoenix.server command again. And if you see daisy UI in the output, you should be fine. Next, let's take a look at the project structure of a Phoenix application. We've already been inside of the assets folder. This is where our package.json is now. It contains all of the assets for the front end, for example, the CSS or font files. The config folder is where our environment variables and application configuration goes. We've already seen this as well because the dev.exs is where we connected Phoenix to the Postgres database. The depths folder is where our package dependencies are installed. We won't be using this at all. And next we have the lib folder, which once again is where most of our code will go. If we open application.ex, we can see that under the hood, Phoenix is using a supervisor. The job board underscore web.ex file is really good to know about. This is where a lot of our helper functions live, and they're basically just macros. The router.ex file is doing what you might expect. It routes incoming web requests to the controller we specified, and that controller is a module that handles our response. Inside of the job board web folder, there's also a controllers folder. Right now, this just contains the Phoenix demo page, which is called a Phoenix view. In our example, we're going to be using Phoenix live views, which are a bit different, so we won't worry about this much for now. Inside of the components folder, there's a layouts folder. These layouts are like templates, and inside of these templates is where our application will live. We'll work on that in the next few videos. Stay tuned.